right, welcome back. We are adding integers now. So if I look at this number line, right, something we've already gone over, and I'm looking at this first position, it's um, 0 plus 1, this would be 0 minus 1, 0 minus 2, 0 minus 3. And how we would write that is just negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5. And that would be their position on the number line, right? And this would just be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So they just mirror themselves on the number line. Okay, so if we have a bunch of gains and losses, which for this unit we talked about in the first video, right? So this is a gain, this is a loss. We can write this as a sequence of gains and losses um, using addition so that we can figure out how much we've gained or how much we've lost. So I can write this as plus four, plus negative three, plus negative five, right? And here, I could write this as a string, again, of gains and losses. And so this would be negative two plus negative seven plus five plus two, right? Okay, so now when we have them in our string, we can just add them together. What happens here when I have a plus beside a negative number. So if I look at that on the number line, okay, so this is five and there's zero. So I'm adding negative two to that. So what am I really doing? Well, I am having five and I'm subtracting two. So a positive and a negative is going to change that into a negative there. So you're going to subtract that. So I have five and I'm going to subtract the two. I'm going to take away that negative two. And what happens when I have a negative number and then I'm adding a positive number? So what we're doing here is here's zero, there is negative three on the number line and the two positives that just stays positive, right? So it's minus, it's negative three, sorry, plus four. So I'm going to add those four, one, two, three, four, and I end up at one. So if I have a negative number here, uh, okay, I'm subtracting and I'm going to be going left. And if I have a positive number here with a negative number, I'm going to be going right. Okay. So again, now I can just cancel out numbers. So I have a gain of six, a positive six here, right? And I have a loss of negative six. And so I know that that's going to take me to zero. So I can actually just look at that and cancel them out and know that I am gonna be left with that gain of three. Now, if I have two losses, it's going to result in a bigger loss. So when I look at this on a number line, okay, and I have zero here, there's one, two, three, four, here's negative four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, okay, so I have, here I have negative four minus 12, right, because of the negative. And so I just count back those 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so what happens here is I take these two negatives and I'm adding the two negatives together. And that's oops, going to be negative 16. All right, so there is a um, short worksheet for you to do um, and we will be taking this up in class.